Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the new song from Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, Stuck With You. Right before I jump into the tutorial, I just wanted to say, let me know in the comments what you want to see for uh, future guitar tutorials. And also please consider subscribing to the channel if you find this content helpful. Let's jump right into the tutorial. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna know for this song is that uh, you may wanna use a capo on the first fret uh, that will simplify the uh, the song quite a lot, otherwise you'll have to use bar chords basically. So with the with the capo on the first fret, the chords you're going to need are G, then you have a B minor, then you've got a C, then you've got an E minor. So you can play it here, open chords, or you could play it all the way up here, so on the eighth fret, so be careful it's not seven because you've got the capo here, so it's E minor related to the capo, uh, so it's eighth. And the last one is a D. And same thing for the D, uh, if you wanna play it here, you can, so it's gonna be sixth fret. Uh, sorry, it's gonna be a D um, major. So for the G, you're going to stay uh, one full bar on it. So two, three, four, then B minor. One, two, three, four, then C. One, two, three, four, and then the E, you only stay uh, two, two, so half a bar for both E minor and D. Two, one, two. All right, hopefully that's clear. Now, what you're going to do with your right hand is uh, pick the bass um, for each of the chord and then the three last string. So for the G, it's gonna sound like this. And then uh, just after you hit the three last strings, uh, you can palm mute, uh, so with your right hand. Uh, super quickly because you want it to be a short, uh, a short note. Okay, so it's going to be the same for each chord. Then you've got the B minor, then the C, then E minor, then D. Okay, so it's not as simple. Uh, the strumming, basically, what it does if you see a full bar as a one, two, three, four. I'll put that on the screen, but you want to hit the bass note on the one, and then you've, you're gonna have the three last string on the two, so one, two, and then you hit the bass note again on the half time between the two and the three, so. And then you, re you hit again the three last strings on the four. Actually, let me grab a metronome and uh, let's, play, let's play that with a metronome so that makes more sense to you. So see the really tricky part, stop that, the really tricky part is uh, after the first uh, hit with the three uh, last string to get back on this bass note is just before the three, so. This one. And it's the same for all the chords. For the E minor and D, it's a bit different. Uh, you switching quicker, so goes. The only difference you're gonna have in the strumming is out between the G and the B minor when there is this. Uh, and this one, you basically just play it after the four uh, time. So after the four uh, of the bar, so.
Yeah, so that's it. Okay, so for the bridge, it's completely different. You start on the C, then G, then C again, and then D. And then the bridge is actually not over at this point. Uh, you go back to the normal uh, verse pattern, really. And here, instead of doing the E minor D, you go into a C minor. So you are here. And then you go back to the verse. So I'll just do a slow example of how the bridge goes. Alright, and that's it for this song guys, I hope you found that helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel if you did and I'll see you in the next video.